but the, the flavor is just not, it's not fully there. What is up everybody and welcome to this week's taste test challenge. This week I'm going to be doing another macaroni and cheese one, but this one is going to be the frozen macaroni and cheese dinners. One from Banquet, which is very popular, and the other one is from Michaelina's, which is also very popular. They are both, according to my statistics that I found and everything, they are basically pretty even as far as sales goes around the country. Banquet is a little bit higher in sales, so they're a little bit more popular, but really not by much, not by much at all. Now, I have think I've had the Banquet um, frozen TV dinner per se, macaroni and cheese, maybe like once or twice over the years. I mean, I don't know. I, I Honestly, I can't even remember, but I'm sure I've had it at one point in time. Um, I normally just make the boxes. But uh, this week, this was a uh, suggestion. So I thought I would try it and uh, see what what they taste like, what the difference is. All right, so I got Banquet and Michaelina's. Robert's V-Blog, like and subscribe, please. This week I have it on red. Let's see how that looks. <clears throat> All right. Blindfold is on. Okay, it is kind of late. It is about 1.30 in the morning right now that I'm doing this. <clears throat> Getting a little hungry. I ate real early today. I uh, actually did a lunch with a friend and didn't eat dinner. So this is actually my dinner kind of 1.30-ish, midnight-ish snack. Um, but anyway, yeah, like I said, Banquet is just uh, a little bit more popular, not really by much. Michaelina's is uh, is good. Um, the other one that's up there on the list is uh, Stouffer's, which, um, you know, I might come back and redress, you know, maybe the winner of this one with uh, a Stouffer's uh, macaroni and cheese. Now, I did do them the same way. They were both actually cooked the same way. Three minutes in. Um, be invented, take them out, stir them up, and then put them back in the microwave for a minute and a half, and then leave them sit for a minute. Now, I did do all that. Um, then I let them sit on the counter. Uh, then I put them in the bowls. I think I showed you that. Now, I did check the temperatures of them, uh, because one was obviously done before the other. Um, I did check the temperatures and they were a little bit off, so I took the one food back in the microwave for about 10 seconds. And at the time when I came and set this all up in here, they were like four degree difference. You know, I'm shooting the, the temperature thing inside of the bowl, they were four degree difference. So they should basically be about the same temperature right now. They are not very hot anymore because of the whole cooking and setting up the camera and all that kind of process but they're still warm all right so let's see what we got here <clears throat> all right banquet versus michaelina's tv dinner style macaroni and cheese uh things so let's see we'll start with the one on this side See, little weak on the cheese flavor on that one. Yeah, a little weak. That's a little weak on the cheese flavor on that one. I mean, the first, you know, right off the bat, first thing I notice, it's a little weak. I mean, I'm used to the boxes and all that, but it could be different. But let's see what this one does. Okay, that one has a much, much stronger flavor of cheese. Now, it was kind of weird because the banquet one, <clears throat> it was in a flat pan, 
and the cheese and everything was all mixed in with the noodles. You put it in, cooked it, peeled the film back, mixed it all up. It was already all in. Where the Michaelinas ones, it had like the cheese on one side and the noodles on the other side. And then when you put it in, the, the cheese kind of melted and the noodles were separate and you kind of had to stir them in together to get them all mixed up together and then, you know, put it back in for the, you know, last minute or whatever. But, um, I don't know if that makes any difference or whatever. I'm, uh, let's try this one again. This one is a much creamier, much creamier cheese than this one was. But this one here has a lot more flavor. Let's see. Yeah, this one has a lot more flavor. This one's a lot creamier of a cheese, which I like that also. But the, the flavor is just not, it's not fully there on this one over here. <clears throat> the flavor on this one is really good. The flavor on this one is a little weak, but I like the creaminess of the cheese on this one. Yeah, so I mean, I'm going to, I'm going to judge this. Just on name brand, I guess. I mean, even though they're both name brands, this, this is going to be a hard one to decipher. This one's going to be hard. Um, I, I'm just going to go, since Banquet has the little bit higher sales across the country, I'm going to go this one here, the one that has a little bit more flavor on it. I'm going to say this one here is the Banquet. And this one here is the Michaelinas. Now, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Banquet on this side, Michaelinas on this side. Okay, yeah, I was right. Ooh, bright lights. <laughs> bright lights. Okay, yeah, this Michaelina, it's, the sauce is a lot creamier. It's a lot creamier, which I really like, a nice creamy sauce. But this one, you know, the banquet one has a lot more flavor. There's a lot more flavor in the banquet. They were both very good. They each had their own individual things. Like, if you can take the creaminess of this one and put it in the flavor of this one, you would have the perfect TV dinner macaroni and cheese, in my opinion. Um, yeah, but, okay, anyway, I got that right. So I am now 26 and 11. I'm going to go take these two boxes here, because there, there ain't much in them. That's one reason why I don't eat these, because there really isn't much. I'd have to eat three of them to make for, like, one box. But uh, I'm going to take both these boxes, go mix them in a tortilla, make myself a little burrito, and that's going to be my 1.30 a.m. snack tonight. Anyway, guys, that's it. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Keep those uh, suggestions coming. I need suggestions. I got a bunch, but I still need more. I still need more. So uh, anyway, guys, that's it for this week's Taste Test Challenge. Come back next Tuesday for another Taste Test Challenge, and I'll see you then. Later, guys.